Hello. Oh, this palette is so cute. Are you kidding me? Oh, bitch. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. And thank you so much for being here. Oh my, oh my god. 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 I have been dying to film this video for the longest time ever. Like, literally. I have not just one, not just two, girl. Okay. I have three boxes full of Morphe products. Literally, I feel like the luckiest girl in the whole entire world right now because never in a million years would I think Morphe would send me anything. Like, this is so crazy. And I feel really inspired to do a full face of Morphe and just play around with makeup and just go back to what I used to do and that's what I used to do a lot back in the day. If you like these type of videos it would mean so much to me if you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up as well because it will help support my channel. Okay okay let's just dive into it because we have a lot to go through and I have no idea what they sent me as well. Oh my god. We have the brush and sponge trio which is so cute. So we got all of these. Cannot wait to try the sponge. We also got a more free times James Charles palette as well. I actually already have one so I might do a giveaway in the future, guys. Keep a lookout. <gasps> oh my god, my favorite, favorite, favorite palette from Morphe, and that is the 39A palette. I freaking love this palette so much. Again, I already have this palette, so I might give it away. And we also have the Morphe setting spray as well, which I absolutely love. This Unfortunately, I'm not gonna give away because I really love it and I'm actually running out of my old one. Sorry guys. Oh my god. This is so crazy. There's so many products in here. I got the 8W Warm Master Palette, which is the blush palette. I also have another Morphe sponge. Oh my god, I've been dying to try this. Never tried this before. I heard so many good things about it. And you know what? what I like about this sponge already is how pointy it is. Can you guys see? This is gonna make me so snatched. Look at that. That point, yes, in love. Cannot wait to try this out. Got the 35B Color Burst palette as well. I don't know what this looks like, so it's been a nice surprise. Got the 35M palette, got the 35B palette. I think the 35B palette is a colored palette, I think. Like, it's got bright, bold colors in there. Not entirely sure. Oh my God, is this what I think it is? <gasps> I have been dying to try the Morphe lip liner in Sweet Tea. So many of my friends adore this lip liner, so I can't wait to try this out. And I also got Coffee and Kissy. Mmm, this color is really nice and I got a highlighter in the shade extra I love this highlighter so much this is so blinding and so gorgeous I think I'm like gonna I think I might give this away to my cousin because she likes the glow and oh my god guys this is literally such a dream are you kidding me? Morphe brushes. Do you know what? When I first started watching YouTube videos, the people that I used to watch all the time, or I still watch them, would be Jaclyn Hill, Carly Bible, and so many like OG makeup YouTubers, and they always use Morphe, and I would always be, you know, like not jealous. Okay, yeah, maybe a little jealous, but I would just always think to myself, like, wow, you have all these Morphe brushes. I really want them because they're affordable. But when you're a kid and you're not making any money, like, so I just feel like, honestly, the luckiest girl in the whole entire world to receive so much Morphe products, especially the brushes as well, because I've always wanted so many Morphe brushes and I'm actually decluttering my brushes. So out of the old, in with the new. Thank you so much to Morphe. I cannot wait. Play around with these and discover which brushes work for me. Got an eyelid primer as well. I already have this. I'm a huge fan of the eyelid primer. I also have the, I also have a concealer as well. I think this is the white white one. Yes. Okay. Okay, sis. It'd be really good for Halloween. Oh, I've got a lip gloss as well in Frosé. Oh, this is a little. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I can't like talk. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. oh my God. That is so stunning. Look at that. So gorgeous. Oh my God. I can't believe there's one more box. This is so crazy. <gasps> oh my God. I got a Morphe card as well. Ah. Oh, thank you so much, Davina. Oh my god, this is so sweet. <gasps> I swear, it's like never ending. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, deep breaths. Oh, I've got a primer as well. Oh, yes. Oh, I also got a foundation as well. I don't think this is my shade, but that's okay. I can give this away to someone. Got another primer as well. This is the revitalizer, so I cannot wait to try that because anything that says revitalizing, I'm like, give it to me. My skin loves to be revitalized. Got another finishing powder. I also got some concealers as well. Got the 35O palette. This is the Nature's Glow palette. Okay. And I got this 
Black and Hill Times Morphe palette. Oh my god, I have not seen you in a while. Oh my god, so gorgeous. This video is not sponsored, by the way, guys. This video is gifted all thanks to Morphe. Thank you so much for sending me so many products. Literally, I have palettes for days. <laughs> and I cannot wait to play around with some makeup. So let's begin with the tutorial. Before I forget, I literally almost forgot to say this to you guys. Use code Ling at Morphe checkout. Wow, I cannot believe I just said that. Wow, oh my god, wow. To a lot of people, a Morphe code might not mean nothing to them. But to me, it means a lot because I grew Grew up watching all these OG YouTubers using Morphe and I was like wow imagine saying that in your own YouTube video use code your name at the Morphe checkout like it's just so to me it's surreal like to be able to be a part of the Morphe PR list like it's just so crazy like there's so many brands out there that you'd be surprised wouldn't want to send me any makeup so yeah it's just so crazy the first thing I'm going to do is prime I'm gonna use a revitalizing primer I'm gonna give it a good shake first this primer is meant to blur and soften imperfections, which is literally what I need right now. This primer feels quite hydrating, which is seriously so handy because my skin is so dry. I don't know what's going on, but my skin is hella, hella, hella dry. Like the Sahara Desert. I'm going to prime my eyelids as well because I'm going to be wearing a lot of makeup in this tutorial. Oh my God. And this primer literally smells like skincare as well. It smells so good. I'm going to go in with the equalizer. This is going to help blur out my pores. I'm just gonna use the tiniest amount. I'm gonna use my ring finger to apply this. I'm just gonna put this on the center of my face and on my nose as well. And just a little bit above my eyebrows because it gets really greasy there. Close up of my skin, this is how it looks. So I definitely feel way more hydrated thanks to the Revitalizer Primer. So personally, I'd recommend that. The Equalizer is nice as well, but I personally prefer the Revitalizer Primer because it's just really nice and hydrating and it, it really does live up to the name. It is Revitalizer because I feel revitalized. Now the next thing I'm gonna try, I'm very late to the game, so please be nice in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Fluidity Foundation. I zoomed you guys in so you can see me nice and close. So this is shade F2.5. This is shade F2.60. This is shade F2.100. And the last one is shade F2.80. Because I'm quite experienced with makeup, I'm actually able to find a really decent foundation match for my skin. And I feel like the closest one that matches my skin is the last one. I mean, it's quite peachy undertone, but I don't mind being a little bit peachy undertone because I can just fix that with a concealer. So I think I'm gonna go with the last one. I'm gonna use the Morphe M439 brush. So I just put some on the brush and I'm gonna put the excess on the back of my hand. This is how I'm gonna apply my foundation. Oh, it's coming up more yellowy rather than peach. Now I've had heard some things about this foundation, but hopefully this works really well for me. I'm personally not a fan of matte foundation. I'm more of a dewy girl. So hopefully Morphe brings out a glowy, dewy, radiant foundation. Ooh. Okay, this foundation actually covered all my sins. Like, hello. I really like this foundation so far. I definitely feel like this is the type of foundation where I don't need to use too much powder. And the reason why is because it's already a mattifying foundation. This is a really good brush. Wow. Oh my God. I'm able to like blend this foundation so quickly and easily. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe sponge, which literally looks like a little butt plug. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm not judging Morphe. And I'm just going to blend the edges because I don't like having that foundation line around my hairline. I want everything nice and blended. And this is how the foundation looks. Oh my god, I really really like it. It's not the perfect shade because my neck is clearly much darker compared to my face But it's okay though. We got contour. We got bronzer coming up soon So I will save the base look if you had dry skin I feel like this foundation would not work for you. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys It's just very matte and I'm an oily ass girl Okay, so I know when I see a matte foundation next up. I've got the concealers. I'm gonna go in and try the shade C2.35 and then I'm gonna go in with this sponge by Morphe I'm gonna use this side to blend the sponge got a lot of firm to it which I really like so I'm able to like really bounce the product on my skin and blend really quickly as well live in okay this is really nice this is definitely the type of foundation concealer combination if I have a very long day and I need to be out for the whole entire day and I need to look presentable this is the type of combination I would use for sure Ha! Huh. 
I feel so nice and blended. But I do look very pale, which I do not like. I don't like looking pale, guys. I like to be crispy brown. Now, I know I said I'm not gonna use any powder, but for the sake of this video, I really wanna try this powder out for you guys, just in case you haven't tried it yourself. And this is the Filter Effects Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Filter 5. I'm gonna use this underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush M530. Oh my God, I feel like such a professional beauty guru. M510, I'm gonna use that next. Oh my God, I just feel like such a pro right now, even though I'm not a pro. So I'm just gonna lightly dust this underneath my eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids as well because they get really greasy. So this is gonna help absorb the oil. Yeah, I'm using a little bit of the powder. I'm not using too much. And the reason why is because like I said, this foundation is very, very matte and I don't wanna make it more matte because I personally don't like that look. I like the soft matte look. Now to juice up my skin a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then quickly, I'm going to fan myself down. I don't like letting the mist sit on top of my skin for too long. I want it to fan it down and dry it as quick as possible. That way it saves the makeup look. And voila. Hmm. I'm happy. So far, everything I've tried, I'm really, really happy. Now, I am trying to figure out something negative to say. But so far, I actually don't have anything. And I'm being super, super real with you guys as well. I'm going to go in with the 8L palette. And guys, oh my god. Oh, this palette is so cute definitely in love with this section over here because i'm dying to bronze my face okay the next brush that i'm using is not morphe so please don't kill me but, uh, i'm not gonna show you the brand's name because i don't wanna you know i'm gonna go in with the shade donut because i feel like donut is a really decent warm tone shade i'm gonna use the brush m173 brush to contour my nose i'm gonna use the same shade which is donut start with my tip and then work my way up and then I'm going to blend Donut literally right under my brow bone, like right here. And then going in with that M530 brush, I'm just going to use the excess powder that's already on this brush to blend the shade Donut. So it's a little bit more diffused and softer looking because I don't want any harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of blush. Now, this is actually my own Morphe palette. This is the 8W palette and it's so, so, so stunning. Love using this so much. I'm going to use the shade Unapologetic because that's the mood that I have right now. Literally on this journey to love myself, not give an F what other people say. And this blusher is my mood right now. Very important to live your life, guys, and do not care what other people say, honestly. And don't compare yourself to others. I know we live in a world of social media, and I know it's so easy to compare yourself, but once you start feeling like you're comparing yourself, switch off your phone, put it away. Your phone is okay. Your phone is not gonna miss you, okay? Really important to take care of yourself and put your mental health first as well. For fun, I'm just gonna put a little bit of blusher on my nose. Kawaii, oh yeah. Time to play around with some highlighter now. So I've got two Morphe highlighters that I really freaking love and one of them is the morphe extra highlighter and the other one is spark personally they are very close but one of them is just a little bit more like silvery and blinding so this is spark let me just do a swatch oh bitch yes mama oh my god that's so cute and this is extra oh look at that Do you guys know what i mean by spark it's just got a little bit of a wham bam hello miss as for extra it's just a little bit more golden but i don't know i think i'm gonna go in with the shade spark because i'm in that mood right now i just want to sparkle you know oh oh my god hello i'm awake I don't know why, but every time I put a highlighter on, I just get so happy. It just really like completes the base makeup and it really makes my skin look so much more awake. Hello. I feel alive now that I've got a highlighter on. Okay, onto the eyes now. I have no idea which eyeshadow palette to use. I, mm, I don't know. Oh, this eyeshadow palette is so pretty. Oh my God, and so is this eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, this is so stunning. Honestly, guys, I have no idea. I'm just gonna go on my phone and just see if there's any inspiration that sparks me. So I'm back. I went through Pinterest and I was going through every single saved look that I have in my mood board. And to be honest nothing really stood out to me but for some reason i really want to use the jacqueline hill palette i just feel like i just want to celebrate the fact that she is releasing a brand new morphe palette and i just want to 
to revisit the old original one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a fun look using this, which I hope you guys like. I'm going to go ahead and use these shades over here. I fancy doing something bluey, purpley, turquoisey. I don't know. I just fancy doing some colour. I already have the primer. This is my own one. This is the one that just came in the post. So I'm just going to use my one. I do love this primer. It's just so like, it just sets nicely onto my eyelid without making them look wrinkly. I find that some eyeshadow primers do that, which is so annoying. I'm going to use the M441 brush. Oh my god, I used to hear about this brush all the freaking time back in the day when I first started watching YouTube. I feel like right now I'm reliving the past. I'm going to go in with the shade Butter and put that all over my eyelid. Using the M330 brush, I'm going to use the shade Puta. Add more depth into my crease. Oh, this brush is so soft. Wow. I need to get more of these. And I know I'll save money using code LING. <laughs> Gonna go in with the shade Pool Party using the M167 brush. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of my eyes, kind of, and kind of do like a cut crease, but not really a cut crease. I don't know, hopefully what I show you guys makes sense. Hello! Oh my god, a pool party it is. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a badass bitch with this on my eyelid. I actually forgot how sickening this eyeshadow palette is. Wow. I'm gonna go in with the shade Jade and I'm using the M433 brush. I'm gonna put this at the end of pool party. Do you know what? I really fancy putting the tiniest hint of this purple eyeshadow somewhere. I just don't know where. And I really hope I don't mess up this eye look. So I'm gonna go in with Royalty and I'm gonna use my cheap Amazon brush. I don't have another one of these brushes so I'm gonna have to do like a massive order from Morphe. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. Oh my god, this is where things go wrong. Once I start experimenting, it either goes really, really well or it goes really, really wrong. And I'm having a very strong feeling that this is gonna go really, really wrong. I think I might put this on my lower lash line. Yeah, let's do that. Very joker. <laughs> I went off camera real quick just to do my eyeliner and put on my false lashes. If you guys are interested in knowing how to do an eyeliner like me, then I'll leave a link up here or over here. I don't know which side is what side, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips now. And I'm so excited to try sweet tea, but I really wanna try coffee and kissy too. So this is coffee and kissy. Ooh, okay, very nice and warm. More on the peachy side. And then sweet tea is like a nice brown. Okay, I'm gonna go for sweet tea because literally all my friends rave about this lip liner so i'm just like okay let me try i really wish i could film a tutorial like cc clark i just really freaking can't i'm like all over the place mm, sweet tea is cute okay i really really like this also guys morphe lip liners so creamy it doesn't like drag or tug on the skin and also it doesn't make my lips feel waxy or dry so yeah i really like morphe lip liners and then i'm gonna use the lip gloss frosé oh my god so gorgeous it's a really nice clear nude Ooh, i love how it makes my lips look so wet Mm, and I love the applicator as well. And the texture of the lip gloss is really nice and not too watery and not too sticky. It's like in between. Mmm, love it. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash review video. It was so fun playing around with Morphe makeup. Literally, everything that I have tried from Morphe is basically approved, which is so crazy. And yeah, I am so happy with the makeup look. I'm happy with my base. Like this foundation. Foundation. I'm definitely gonna wear it more often, but I'm gonna wear it on days where I'm like super busy and I need to be out and about and I need something long wearing and durable because I feel like this foundation is just gonna stay on my skin all day. And also, I forgot to mention, it feels lightweight. Like it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel dry on my skin. It just feels really nice. And I love how it looks as well. The highlighter, I feel like is what really made me so happy. Love it so much. Oh my God. Just so that you guys know that I upload twice a week. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Sunday, so it means so much to me if you guys subscribe and again please give this video a thumbs up it will help me out so much let me know what your favorite morphe products are down in the comment section i would love to know i'm still learning what other products morphe have because they have so many makeup products i'll see you in my next video guys Mwah. bye is this the brow bone i don't know I honestly don't know, but this right here, I'm blending this section right here. I'm a little bit hyper, don't mind me. I am so happy when I put highlighter on.
Oh yeah. Hello highlight. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna go in with the shade Jade. I'm gonna use the M4. I'm gonna go in with... Oh my god, I can't talk. Let me know what your favorite Morphe products are down below in the description box. In the description box? No girl. In the comment section, what the hell? 